change to a fraction in lowest terms. So since this is a percent, uh, I'm going to change this into a decimal just so we can see that first. Some of you know, though, that we could also change this to 48 over 100 because it's per 100, 48 per cent. Now, on the other hand, though, some of you would want to change this back into a decimal, meaning that I would have to move the decimal two times to the left, giving a 0 0.48. The 8 is in the hundredths position anyways, so we end up with the same thing we had there in black, which is 48 hundredths. Now, the only reason I did it this way is because it may not always end up being in the hundredths position. If we're in the tenths, then we would have something over 10 instead. All right, so just be aware that this one turned out pretty nice, but we do want this fraction in lowest terms. Uh, looks like both of these are divisible by 4 at least. Let's see how that goes. So I get uh, 12 over 25, and that looks like it cannot be simplified any further. So this would be the fraction of that percent in lowest terms.